All right, so we're starting a new account in Marvel Strike Force. What are the things we need to do to succeed and what are the pitfalls we need to avoid? The first hurdle we come across is the fact that there are over 250 characters already in this game. Who do we power up? Who's good? Who's not? There's no way you can know all of that information firsthand right away. So hey, we'll just go with what the game gives us and we'll address some of those pitfalls along the way. The way we can do this is by setting priorities. First off, have fun in the game. Then there's specific game modes you want to concentrate on. Campaigns, arena, raids, crucible, and war. Most of that stuff is not available in the beginning, so let's work on having fun and getting through the campaigns. We're loading into the game, and you see here our daily login streak is active. That just means we've logged in for seven days straight. We want to strive for that. Even if you don't do anything, go ahead and log in. There's just extra bonuses and stuff you get for uh, logging in every day. So this is our login calendar. In this case, obviously for the month of December. So we're gonna get power cores in there. That's the purple thing. That's the premium currency. There's gold in there and obviously there's characters. Now Cyclops there, very important. His character is getting a rework in an upcoming patch. So he's going to be strong. So we wanna make sure we uh, get the new characters. The new characters in the game are the best. The newly reworked characters in the game, very good. So those are the characters we wanna to target to strengthen our account. Just got this one too, so this must have happened after the seven day login, starting to get last month. So 150, 150, 150, so as we go through, the game's gonna basically give me those characters. I'm gonna be unlocking those characters. Uh, some of those uh, go with Nick Fury's team. Some of those characters go with Captain America's team. So they're good characters. Uh, in order to progress our account, we need experience points. So here's our daily objectives or your dailies that you, you can do. You wanna get that stuff done, it's easy. Uh, that's going to contribute especially early to uh, increasing the level of your account when your account level goes up you can power up your characters to that level it opens up more game modes so we want to be very keen on getting our daily objectives done as we go through the campaign nodes in general you're going to get experience points from there so again good place to farm your experience increases your account level once again and that contributes to the growth of your characters and your account overall Campaign energy is your most important commodity. So go ahead and click the lightning bolt in the upper right hand corner. You're going to spend these power cores 50, 50, 50. But when you get to 100, you're going to stop. So that's typically how I start my day in the game. I use those power cores to refresh that energy. So as you see in the upper right hand corner, 565. That's what we got for our game refreshing with the, with the cores. We'll go as far as we can in the campaign until we physically stop, right? Maybe the game simply won't let us go further because we need certain requirements. Maybe we need a certain level. Maybe we need certain people on the team. Maybe we're just not strong enough and we, we lose. So you go as far as you can in the campaign until the game makes you stop and then you adjust. So we're gonna go into the heroes campaign. We need to power up our characters a little further. Now we have five there that we started with. So you wanna start with five. If you unlock more characters than that initially, just leave them alone. You're gonna pick five power them up to the max those are going to carry you through until the game makes you adjust resources are limited in the game you, you can have some flexibility but your resources are not infinite you do not need to power up every character you unlock pick five probably the five that the game gives you to start and go from there campaigns are important because that's where you get your gear your gold your training materials your experience points that's where you can uh, repeatedly refresh those items and farm those items. So we're gonna go ahead and power up Spider-Man here. So you see we've got our last gear piece. We're going from gear tier four to gear tier five. We get a stat boost with that. And then we have some awesome parts. So the one that says find on the left-hand side, well, I guess we're doing, we're doing training first. We'll go ahead and boom. Since our account level went up, Spider-Man will go up. All right, our account level's 26. So Spider-Man is now level 26. We'll keep going. We're gonna get that gear piece on the left. It says fine. This is why campaigns are so important. I need some of those uh, spike, little spiky ball guys. So we'll put find. It takes us to where we can find them in the game. So here it says heroes assemble 4-4, auto win. We already have completed that in the campaign. So I can just farm that. I can just click those and get those resources automatically. We got enough points for to level up our account. We'll take that. So you see we got four. We needed two spiky balls. We got four just from the auto win. Or if we have to do it the old fashioned way, we can go into the node itself, go through. And at the conclusion of that, we'll hopefully get some more of those spiky balls added to our account. 
Looks like we're going to lose. All right. We're not going to make it through. So we got to power up our characters some more. That was as far as we could go in the heroes campaign. So time to adjust. We'll flip over to the villains campaign. So for our villains that we've unlocked so far, same deal. Pick five. Maybe you'll get more, but you're going to pick five, especially the five that they give you right off the bat. Power them up. Loki, though, Loki is a very special character. So Loki's one you want to put some power in early because they give him to you early and they give him to you are relatively strong. He can help you push through some of the content at this early portion in the game. See, they give you Loki kind of as a promotion when you uh, sign up for the website, you sign up with Scopely, the makers of the game, they're going to give you some power cores, gold, and a three-star Loki. So you go to the option screen, sign in with your Scopely ID, then you can sign out of the game as well. Um, use a email, obviously, to make that happen. So if you get like a, uh, you know, a spam email or something like that, go ahead and use that. Uh, then it'll take you to the website and you see on the right there are daily rewards. So one of those rewards will be that Loki and then every day there'll be more stuff. Some of the uh, events and things that you do will get points that go on, again, the website. So it's meant to be attached to your account. It's meant to be part of the progression process. So let's just go back and look at our roster. Okay, so these are the villains that we have. And we're gonna go ahead and rinse and repeat. You go through the villains campaign as far as you can. If you unlock Nexus, you go through the Nexus campaign as far as you can until you physically can't go anymore or until you run out of your energy for the day. At some point you'll be defeated. You know that you're not strong enough. And again, that's a good time to just pivot to farming, making your character stronger or go into some of the other game modes that you've unlocked. So at this time we've unlocked raids. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Raids are one of the, the daily priorities. Very important. You want to make sure you accomplish them every day. So initially Ultimus one is the only raid you have, right? So Ultimus, as we, we grow in our account has difficulties from one to five. So right now we're just, again, we got Ultimus one and the characters that you have will be sufficient. So we have strike team one. Again, as we get into other raids, there will be three strike teams because you have more and more people uh, that need to go through the raids. In the meantime, you just click the preview button there and you go in to see what the raid looks like. So the raid, as you can see in the left hand side, is just it's like a little maze. In this case, it's very simple. Each person is going to go up a different path. And the energy that you see in the upper right hand corner is your raid energy. Each time you take an attempt at one of those nodes, it costs you 10 energy. So over the course of 24 hours, the energy will continually refresh and that will help you to push further and further into the raid. You're going to need stronger teams later on, but right now the characters you have are sufficient. To do raids, that is group content and you do group content with your alliance. So at a certain point in the game, uh, the game will automatically put you into a starter alliance. So just go ahead and click that button there and check out where your alliance is at. So again, in the upper left hand corner, strike team and there's a bunch of letters and numbers. This is a computer generated, a game generated alliance. So when you get again to be a certain level, it just starts throwing people in. We didn't have anybody in here when I got uh, here last night. Now it says 24 out of 24. So the computer just put a bunch of people in, which is good. Helps you learn how to play the game together and decide whether you want to go more hardcore or stay casual. If you do end up wanting to change down at the bottom left, you can switch alliances there. You can just kind of scroll through some of the ones that people already made, or you can use a community tab. Uh, communicate with people on some of these different platforms. I've used Facebook. I've used Discord. Uh, I mostly use Discord when looking for alliances myself. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pick that one. That will take you to the official Marvel Strike Force Discord. So you drop down to see here, it says looking for alliance. Uh, they're going to want to know what your total collection power is. It's less than 1 million. So you'll just uh, put your information in right there and people will come looking for you. All right. Blitz is the other game mode that we've unlocked so far. So we'll go ahead and click that. That will take you to this screen. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and change our team. We're going to put some people in. You see there's a countdown on the characters uh, from 58 minutes. So the characters refresh. They can be used again in Blitz every hour. Every hour. Uh, so you, you could do this every hour. Uh, that can be a source of burnout for some people. So just do what you can. Okay, don't overdo it. Doing something every hour on the hour for eight hours a day can be draining. In the upper game modes, or excuse me, and a more mature account, you will unlock Blitz Sim where you don't have to physically play. So we're just going to go ahead in the upper left hand corner there, hit auto. 
just let the match play out win or lose um you can continue to play these are your blitz credits you can continue to play at 25 there 25 25 and once again after you do that four times to go up to 50 i usually stop at 50 in the upper right hand corner is your your blitz currency that you have All right so that's your blitz currency so it'll take from there every time you use those 25s so again this is a, it's a good source you can get uh, blitz credits to use in the blitz store to unlock characters but again this is one of those game modes that can uh, burn people out so you just want to be careful with your time management there the main point is just trying to complete the milestones right every time you win you get a certain amount of points those points go into the milestones uh, Ooh, cyclops right so Again, we're going to be able, hopefully, be able to unlock this character. Uh, by the end of the month, he's going to be used in a new team. Uh, besides that, there's gold, there's orbs. So orbs especially, these are things you're going to want to have. So just unlock more and more characters for your beginner account. Every time you get a Blitz win, at the top there, you get some amount of Blitz credits. Once again, those will be used in the store. Uh, then you have, uh, your tier will go up. Every time you win, again, your tier will go up. Your points modifier will go up. So the more wins you have, the easier it is to max out those milestones. This game gets a lot more complex. And as we go through it together, right, as I get to the more complex stuff, I'll be sharing it with you. We can talk. Talk in the comments. Or hit me up on Discord. Again, I have an in-game account. I've been playing the game for five going on six years here. And the game is fun. It's a great game. Find yourself a good alliance, a good group of people to play with. Ask questions. We're going to do it, man. We're going to have fun. I have a more in-depth beginner's guide that will link right here. Take care of yourself and your family. Peace.